Hi everyone. Right, we've just got some more flowers that I'm going to show you that I, I sat while I was talking to Jim and Chris last night. We did actually film this once, but uh, it didn't work. Um, that I've sat and crocheted. Um, these three are identical. This one is done the same as that, but two-tone. And this one is slightly different. So I'm just going to show you what this one uh, for this one first. All I've done is just done like a like I did the other day, but I've put like loops on the end to make them more flowery, you know, give them a nice edge. And there's two layers, and I'm going to show you how to do this one because it's really quick and very easy. So that's three of those, and I've used an ordinary flower that I got off a plastic stem uh, with a pearl in the middle to uh, for them, and they're, they're really bonny. Now I'm doing a shabby chic. Uh, Ustream on Friday and I may be using one or two of these also this exactly the same the way it's done and all you're doing to get that scallop is to do a chain of six so I'll show you how to do that and I've used one of the oval pearl centers for that one but this one I do like because I put an extra row in um, I will like I say show you how to do that but on the outside edge you do a row, um, a chain of three and then you go back round again doing a chain of six and you get that look and it gives it a more full look, a fuller look. So that's those. But I was asked about the, and I've made a flower centre for the one I'm going to show you now. Um, they want to know about the Jessica flower. Um, this is, oops, I've dropped everything then. Oops, there this is the Jessica flower that I showed yesterday uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, let me just get the materials, because that's going to... Jessica... Oh, sorry about this. Hang on. Hello? Yeah, that'll do. Right, okay. Yeah, please. Right, so uh, I'm filming, so I'll see you soon. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's doing something. Right, just let me get the material for you. You're going to need some lace. I've got this. Um, underneath the flower, I put a little patch of felt. So that's the felt for that. And then it's this material. And what it was, it was a very large piece of wide eyelet. So you need the wide ones. So that was stitched. That was uh, onto there. And I just cut it down the middle. Uh, and that, as you can see, is going to be the first flower, which is the wide one. And then what I did, I just cut that down again to here, leaving the both eyelets for the second flower. And then the bits that I've cut off, which was that section, I, I cut in half... And I made the middle section. So that's what we're going to do. And it's basically the same as I've done before. Now. Where's my needle? That's a thought. I've lost my needle, girls. Don't, oh, look at this. I spilt my coffee last night. And I thought I'd cleaned it up. But look. Oh, dear. Have now. Never mind. Gone. I've lost my needle. My sewing needle. And without that, I've got it. Here we go. I had it sewing that flower last night. Right, whoo, bit panicky there. So what I'm going to do is let me just see if I can hide the camera a little bit, just so you can see. Uh, I think we've got that there. Yeah, okay. Just move that to one side. So what you need, um, six petals, uh, six flounces, like I say. Let me just check this one. Where did I start this one? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... 17. So I, I use 17 of the scallops. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17. And I'm just going to cut that like that. And then for the next one, of course, um, I did the same again. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 17. But um, that was cut smaller and I just cut it to the bottom of the flower
like that and just discard that bit. So that's the middle, fl uh, middle flower, the outer flower, and then with this, I need to cut this in half about the same length. And I'm, what I did, I kept this edge, it was already like that, so I kept that as the centrepiece to give it a bit of shabby sheet look. And it's just basically cutting this one down the middle. And you do the running stitch like you do with all of them. That's what I'm saying about these flowers, they are so simple to make. There we go. Here's the needle. And I use the black thread because it's the strongest I've got and it's uh, you don't see it when the felt's on and that. Now I'm just loading up uh, shortly. The boys, uh, Joey and Lucky, they went to the first lot of uh, obedience training today. Um, and also... I can't film that, of course, but we filmed them playing later on the field when it was over with. So um, that's their next film, but I'm going to be filming the training later on. Still covered in black paint, although I've had a shower as well. So what I'm going to do now is just stitch this one. Just gather it. And like I say, I always say, try and make your stitches roughly the same size. So if you want, you can fast forward this bit because I do have to put the three bits together. They were really good in training today. Um, I was quite surprised. They were very, very boisterous when we first got there because there were lots of other dogs of every description. And uh, everybody's dogs wanted to sniff everybody's dogs. But the way they trained them into, you know, mixing with other dogs was brilliant. And they do mix well, but yesterday, unfortunately, uh, mine got attacked on the field by another dog. who was a, a smaller dog than them, um, a little cocker spaniel, and uh, it just went mad at them and... First of all, it came towards them. That, ours was on the lead, but theirs, hers wasn't. And um, it was really friendly. It came towards them, wagging its tail and wanting to play. And as soon as it got to the boys, it went for them. And it picked on the wrong one because it picked on uh, Lucky. And Lucky's will fight any dog <laughs> that we've found out. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't hang about too long, the other dog. And like I say, we're just putting a couple of stitches in there. And then glue down the side. Just to hold that together. Like that. And there we've got a nice flower. That's the first one, because this is quite a large flower. And I did name it after Jessica. Who loves it, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica, for your email. But I do need your address, darling, so I can send this on to you. Take the middle flower, middle section of the flower, should I say. Now, I like using this eyelet lace. It is uh, quite nice. Your flowers look quite shabby sheet with it. And I like the satins and that, but I love the eyelet lace. This was a piece I bought while I was with Julie down in uh, down south at the weekend. I just happened to find a big piece of it. It was two metres. I paid about four pounds, so not bad. So it's got me quite a few flowers out of it.
Okay, now all we're going to do... Oh, come on! Just pull that uh, at the beginning, join the two pieces together. Like that. Catch the beginning again. Run the glue down the side. It just, you know, adheres it together. Adheres it together, should I say. Like that. And because this is cut smaller, it does look fuller. That's what you want. Like that. And then what we do is, we sew, uh, glue that one. Into the centre of that one. Make sure we've got the centre, that's about right. Yeah. Take the next one, which is the cut scallop one. Today's it. And this is even smaller, so we'll look fuller again. Um, and thanks to everybody who made a bid on the uh, auction. I oh, that one, the dog's film is ready to go up. Um, I did note that the winner so far has, well I haven't looked, I need to look now, but I mean the last time I looked this morning when I first got up, um, has bid £55, which I'm absolutely thrilled at, and they're from Japan, so hi, hi to Japan, <laughs> um, I'm just thrilled, I, I'm absolutely thrilled, I'm sorry Enid that uh, Enid set the ball rolling, she b made the first bid, um, and then bid in again, but um, there's been a few more since then, and it's... Uh, I will be doing others, Enid. I will. I will do other auctions. Um, and thanks to everybody who's bought the things that I've been making lately from my Etsy store. I have got more to go up, so if you want to keep your eye pinned, um, I've got a lot of things to go up that are handmade. Um, I will be giving some out as gifts. And I know, ladies, some of you, I've got your gifts and boxes here that I've promised you. But with me having so many parcels to do and that, I've not got round to doing them because I want to put things with them um, and make things. And so juggling it all is, uh, you can wait a few, well, a, a long while, to be honest. I know some people, I, I mean, from last year, they're still waiting, but uh, I will get round to it. Every month, I always send off extra parcels and racks so that I do get round them eventually. But, you know, there's a lot of people a lot of people that I'm friends with or that contact me for whatever and uh, want me to make them something. So it's juggling it all and, you know, it all costs, the racks and that cost me. So I have to wait till I've earned a bit to pay for them. So, you you know, if you understand why you're having to wait sometimes a, a while. I have got the Grecian box to send out. I still haven't sent that. I know it sounds shameful, but I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of doing a parcel for her. And um, I've got seven on the go. At least seven on the go every week without fail. That's weekly, not monthly. So um, I will get round to it and eventually you will get your boxes. Anything I've promised anybody, you will get. I'm, I'm really sorry it takes so long. You know, but I'm, I'm not, I work as well and I'm not... Uh, made of money that's why it takes me a while to get things sorted right see how, how that's done that and what I've done is this one I used a button but with this one I'm actually going to use my pearl center I've just made and do you know I just had a look at this pearl center right 
and it's already touched 600 and odd thousand views with 888 comments. Wow, amazing. And people right across the globe have uh, looked at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that stunning? Beautiful, beautiful flower. The Jessica flower. Right, what I've got to do now is just put the trimmings on. I'm just going to get the beading. Let's have a look, see what we've got for the beading. I, these have got a slight pink in it with cream, and I like that. So I'm going to try and keep that as is. And I'm going to use the same bead, I think. Yes, I'm going to use the same. Must go get some more beads. Let's see if we can get this into three. Yep, that'll do. My last bit of baby pink. The light one. So I've cut three strands of beads. Now, the bit that you cut off, remember that bit, all I did was to fold that in half, cut it, and then cut that straight down the middle. So nothing is wasted. So I've got that, and then now what I need is some of this um, lace. And I'm just going to cut one, two, three, four, five, six. Six strands. What I'm going to do, take one of the cotton, one lace, one bead, one cotton, one lace, oops, it is it. One lace and one bead. Slightly, you know, doing them at an angle. Again, one cotton. one lace and one bead one cotton I think I'll just do another lace like that and while that's wet we need to stick that to the back of the flower Oops, let me, oh wait a minute, I'm going to take that off a minute because I don't want it just, I want it there, that's the bottom of the flower. Like that, just make sure that sticks on. Add another lace to cover that. And that way when they hang, now we need to put the uh, disc on. And I'm using the felt, because you can actually use this for a headband or um, a, a bag or whatever you want to do. Because you can trim them down or don't put them on, just use the flower. There we go. Cut a circle. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. Like that. Lay them flat. Plenty of glue on because you do want it to stick. And like that. Beautiful. Look at that. Just stunning. Might want them beads to come out a little bit actually. Just so they show more. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick the beads just here. Just underneath like that. So they actually show more. And then push all that down and that will stick there. And you can actually see the beads at the front. And that's really nice. Love that. I'm just chop that one a bit long. That one. And there you go. That's how you make the Jessica flower. Right, Jessica, I've asked you for your um, 
address now if you want this pearl centre one let me know if not I'll send you that one whichever one you want this is the handmade pearl centre I do um, or this one let me know which you want and I'll send you the one okay but that's how you do that flower and it's stunning hope you can see them like that thanks for watching I'll, uh, I'll be back to do something else uh, oh I'm going to do the crocheted flower so thanks for watching speak to you soon take care bye bye for now